How much of this league is coaching, man? It's a sick. lot of it. A lot of it. That's why it's sick, you man. You think about the Giants and Garrett, you see the problem. And now, how to dominate. This is the big show. <laughs> Make your picks right. Now we got the Bucks at the Bears, two three and one teams. I'm gonna take Tampa Bay. Going with Tampa Bay as well, just because Tom Brady, solid. I like the Bears, but uh, they're, they're, yeah, it's the Bucks, dude. They're, okay, they've been playing well. Both been both been playing well. Should be a good, the best Thursday night game so far. Next up, the Bills at the Titans. COVID, who knows, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna happen, but. I had picked Tennessee in this game, but I'm changing my pick to uh, Buffalo. And the reason I'm picking Buffalo is just because Tennessee is dealing with COVID things and hasn't had time to practice, can't go in their facility. Yep. But Buffalo, you know, they have a little, a lot more structure to their week. You know how I feel Am about I the right? Bills. You're right. Okay. You're right. Next up, the Jaguars at the Texans. Texans fired their coach. Uh, yep. It would have been nice to maybe research, like, how does a team do when they fire a coach in midseason? <laughs> nah, dude. Just pick. <laughs> I picked the Texans. I read something that said J.J. Watt gave uh, O'Brien a hard time on the practice field, and that kind of turned the team against oh. him. Oh. I, you know, this this is – I wasn't there. I still like the Texans in this match. It's something I read on the internet, Kimmy, so it's got to be My- true. <laughs> All right, next up, the Bengals at the Ravens. Ravens favored by 13 and a half. Give That's me them, the question, right? Give me them, Ravens. The Bengals got to win. Now they get a smackdown. That's Not me. Feeling. No? Not me. Wow, look at you, believer. No, I just did 13.5, <laughs> and the Bengals have been firing. All right, this and might so, this might be my lock of the week. Certainly without the spread. Next woo! up, the oh, yeah. Panthers at the Falcons. Falcons, man, woo! I'm gonna pick. I know. Them. I know. I picked the Panthers last week. I know you like that pick. I'm picking Atlanta this week. I'm taking the Panthers just because I still haven't seen the Falcons not melt down. No, no <laughs> at the game. The Raiders at the Chiefs. Kansas City. You know, just you come on now, plowing through the league. 12 and a half favorite. The Raiders are tempting in this spot, but I'm going to take Kansas City. Kansas City again. all day. Kansas City. This one, I'm not, again, I'm not crazy about this one. You Raiders like the are, Raiders. I like John Gruden. Yeah. I, that guy's my coach. And, um, you know, he doesn't lose. His teams are ready to play. They're, they're decent. They're always decent. Yeah, and the Raiders are decent. Speaking of teams that aren't decent, uh, the New York Jets are hosting the uh, Arizona Cardinals. Jets are getting seven and a half points. Joe Flacco is starting this week. Call me crazy. I'm going to take the Jets. To I don't think you're Cardinals. crazy. I don't think you're crazy. I really struggled with this pick because they looked great last Thursday, man. I mean, great is a really big. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a strong word. They looked like an NFL team, kind of. They looked like they could play, and the cards... Like they had 11 personal fouls. It's a sloppy shit. Man. Yeah, they can't come out like that again. Are they going to do that again this week? I uh, don't Now, Pennsylvania is a big battleground state. <laughs> and we got the Eagles <laughs> at the Steelers. Steelers missed a week last week. Again, another coach I love, Mike Tomlin. He yeah. He team anytime. Steelers favored by seven and a half points. Eagles got their first win. Ten point game. They can do it. Reluctantly taking Pittsburgh, but reluctantly, I think they could do it. Well, I I could see the Eagles winning game two, uh, winning their second game, and I can see the Steelers also winning by a field goal of four points or something like that. Do you get the rest when you miss a game? Are they well rested? They're well coached. They're well coached. Best coaches in the league. And the other thing was like, so they took away their bye week. And he was, uh, Tom was like, so we have to play 13 games in a row. We don't care. Wow. That's what I want to hear. Okay. Another weird team, the Rams at the Washington football team, whatever. Another one, man. I'm going to take Washington just because maybe they win a game. Maybe they don't get beat up so badly. The Rams just beat the Giants last week. Now maybe they come around and, and pound them. I don't know. 
I'm still going to go with the Rams. <laughs> uh, Dolphins at the 49ers. 49ers are favored by eight and a half points. I'm going to take the Niners. Hmm. I have the Dolphins in this game. They can lose, but just not that badly. Speaking of bad team, uh, or just a bad division, the Giants at the Cowboys. Ah, oh, God. Just... Cowboys favored by nine and a half points. Hard to even take Cowboys. them. It's hard to take them. I'm going to take the Cowboys. It's hard to take them. It's hard to take the them. Giants are going to win one of the games, games this year. And wouldn't it be that the, that would be the game? The Cowboys uh, cock it and up. Then and then we can see Skeletor up in his box, like, yeah. facing around. <laughs> Look at him. Broncos at the Patriots. Oh, uh, come on. Patriots now. lost a tough one uh, on the Monday night. They had the COVID thing. They got a little discombobulated. Yeah. Still favored by eight and a half points. It's camp playing. No one knows. Nope. It's a lot of points. Give me the Patriots. I'm uh, going with the Patriots. Going with the Patriots on that. Okay, Colts at the Browns. Uh, Browns are getting two and a half points at home. Browns ain't no joke, man. Last week you saw what happened. Now Nick Chubb will not be in the game once Give again. Me Indianapolis. So. That's my little sneaky team that I kind of like. They they're really good. You're not wrong for making that choice. I'm going out on a limb with the Browns in that. Okay. Game. Next up, we got the Vikings at the Seahawks. Seahawks favored by seven and a half points. They could do that. Minnesota won last week. Seattle's been super dominant. I'm taking Minnesota. What? I'm crossing my fingers and I'm taking Minnesota. Maybe not to win, but to keep it close and you don't. Yeah, you cover. don't think they're gonna make that spread, huh? I don't know. I can see them on a ten point lead. I can see that. I can see that too. Okay, and then the Monday night game is pretty interesting. Uh, you know, that's the Chargers are another team that I kind of sort of like. Uh, they're visiting New Orleans. Saints are favored by seven and a half points. Give me the Chargers. Mm, to keep uh, it close or to win? Yeah, I think they're going to win, but to keep it close. Yeah. Oh, my. Uh, in looking at the whole list, more people pick Seattle than any other team on this list. Seattle is the most favorite in our. Yeah, I, you, you know, I got it. All right, so if we're going to pick the, the knockout one, I'm definitely saying Baltimore's going to win. Forget about the spread. And the team that's definitely going to cover the spread. Ooh, it's hard to. Wow, this is that, this is tough. It's I'm a tough week. Uh, I'm going to say, oh, like everyone, I can make a argument, argument for the with, other. Atlanta's going to cover the spread. They're favored by two and a half points. Atlanta's going to win the game and cover. Really? Hmm. You? Okay. So I'm going to go with um, without the spread. Got to go Patriots. Over the Broncos. Okay. With the spread, I'm going to go with the Bucks. Interesting. I was looking at that one, too. All right. Well, good luck. Good football. Have a good one. Bish.